Salisport had always been known as a boat company that accesses shallow water and has been since 1983. But with the invention of the new X3 design, this allows anglers to not only access shallow skinny water flats and perform in shallow water, but also be able to cross big bays and fish in offshore gulf waters in the same day. What the X3 is going to do is going to open a whole new market for a lot of clients that don't want to go out there when it's too rough, but you can still target your tarpon, your kingfish, anything else along the whole bay system and really be a great ground fishing boat. The most unique design feature of this boat is the versatility of the boat. The fact that this is three boats in one, everybody's always looked for that one boat that can do it all. Um, this is about as close as you're going to get as far as I know. Ever since I was a kid, I've fished on a shallow sport. Worked my way up to a 25X3 and uh, the 25X3 does it all. I've been fishing here since 1974, since I was a child. I've had every boat that Shallow Sports made up to this date. I've had an 18, a 21, a 24. Inshore now I've got the 25X3, which is the most phenomenal boat I've ever been on and seen. It was blowing 40 miles an hour. It ran out through the big waves and I told Wes, I said, there's no way this thing's going to take off shallow as well as it does in the deep water. And we went over and stopped at 12 inches of water and took off and that sold me right there. This boat is a unique hull design again. It has three individual hulls that have a tunnel running down through the middle of them. The sharpness of those hulls allow us to not only break the water, but we cut through the wave. Literally cut through it, where you don't get any pounding, any bouncing at all. The turning radius on it is as tight as you've ever seen. You can be running 30, 40 miles an hour and cut the wheel and it just turns on a dime. You, there's no way to explain it. It's not typical of a tri-hole design that you would see from the 1970s. That was more of a V that had two little side holes that came down for stability. You can see light through the three holes. And that middle hole, actually, the lifting strakes will go back into a full tunnel. And when I say full tunnel, I'm not talking about a little, you know, two foot long pocket tunnel. I'm talking about a full seven foot long tunnel that will introduce plenty of water to the lower units so that when we go into a hard turn, uh, the prop stays in, the, in the, the flow of water, which cools the engine, which is very important. Without that, you're going to get a lot of cavitation, a lot of aeration, and you're going to lose the propulsion that's keeping you on plane. And you don't want that happening, when, especially when you're turning out of a shallow water, because then you're going to fall off plane, and that's when you get stuck. And that's the difference between spending the night out on the bay and making it home for dinner. get on the X3, the first thing you're going to realize not only is how big this is a bay boat, but how much deck space you have. You got four compartments in the front, two storage compartments in the back, a 25 gallon recirculating libel on the back. There's space for everybody. You don't have to leave anybody at home anymore. We put pretty much put every feature that I really wanted on there. We got the uh, 
casting platforms, got three live wells to distribute the weight amongst the boat. It's got radar, GPS, bottom machine. You can order it with all different types of options. All kinds of front towers, back towers, T-tops. So it's blown me away as somebody that's seen them all, been around all of them, and there's a lot of bragging rights that go around and say, my boat's better than your boat, but this is the game changer. This boat still amazes me. I still don't believe what it can do. It's going to be the limousine of the charter service. I thought my 24 Sport was a boat that I would end up in forever, and now it's going to be the 25X3.